say one lecture, one white lecturer once said to a friend of mine that the reason that uh, we all get like 50s and 60s is because we have tough skin and we can handle it better than the white kids. Well, it's so, so disgusting. That was so disgusting for me. And um, to me now, guys, I'm Mitavi Lim and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about the struggles of being a black interior design student and if you're here for this content and you like this content please subscribe because i'm going to be doing more content like this one i'm going to be talking about the struggles of being an interior designer in an undeveloped country um the struggles i face and as, as an interior uh, female interior designer in this male dominated um what industry of architecture of construction and um, if you want to know more about those things please subscribe down below today though I'm gonna be talking about um, the struggles of being uh, an interior design student a black interior design student I mean with everything that's been happening in the world like I got to a point where I'm like this this bullshit needs to stop it needs to stop. I know I'm a little bit delayed or I'm a little bit late, but I know that these things are continuing and um, they need to stop, guys. And um, we need to start speaking out and speaking up. I know this video might get me into a lot of trouble, but I really don't care because I'm telling my story. I'm literally telling my story. And we went through a lot in varsity. And I might not even mention the name of the school that I went to, but I went to um, a faculty of art design and architecture and I studied interior design for three years. So these are the struggles that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about the struggles I and uh, my friends, my black fellow friends faced um, during the course of the three years that we were studying as interior designers. Um, so number one, I'm even shaking guys, that's how like deep and um, deep this matter is, like it's deep, it's painful, it's sore, like it's unfair and I, I don't think it should be happening at this day and age, but it is unfortunately. So number one um, is that you are it's a disadvantage just because you are black when you go for to design school or interior design school chances are you're not going to be as great as you think you are you're not going to be as amazing as you think you are and as you know you are like that light and that um fire that's inside you when you're a matriculant and when you're matric in matric and you're deciding that you know what i'm gonna go to design school and because i think i have this talent and i think i have this eye for design <sighs> that light is going to be shut down and dimmed by people of the white side like you know Anyway, like this makes me so emotional because I went through it and I was quiet about it the whole time because I don't know if you speak out you're gonna fail if you go like when I was in first year some of the students actually spoke out they went to SFC they but they are the ones that ended up being in trouble because they are black and they have no say like what are you saying like who are you and a uh, number two is that no one actually takes you seriously the lecturers don't take you seriously the other white kids don't take you seriously like no one takes you seriously they think you're a whole guy or a clown like no one takes you seriously um, I'm just gonna leave it at that because it's as simple as that no one takes you seriously and number three um, comes from number two if you want to be taken seriously then you must kiss ass 
you need to be a kiss ass to be taken seriously. You need to be a kiss ass to actually get good marks. You need to be a kiss ass to like survive in design school, which I wasn't. I was one of those kids. And um, I really, I'm not even apologetic about it. I would not do anything different if I was to go back to school. Um, and it's really sad, guys, that uh, these things happen. Like, you need to, like, always talk to these people, make connections, like, talk to them. Mm, how's your kid? Like, I don't give a fuck how your kid is doing. I just need my marks. I'm here to, for school. So if you are that kind of person that actually gives them what they want, you are actually going to get what you want as well. Which is my advice. You may do it if you want good marks. I'm not going to pretend I'm something that I'm not only to get good marks. I'm not going to ha ha he he with people that I wouldn't ha ha he he with on a normal basis. Like that's just being fake. And yeah, so we're going to point number four. You may have great designs, you may have great ideas, but you have, you're only going to get like 50 to like 60% in class on your projects. That's all you deserve. And um, apparently one lecture, one white lecturer once said to a friend of mine that the reason that uh, we all get like 50s and 60s is because we have tough skin and we can handle it better than the white kids. Well, it's so, so disgusting. That was so disgusting for me. And um, you could see that, because usually we would pin up our work, spend tons and tons of money that we already do not have on printing out this work that we're only going to receive 50 to 60% in class. Four. Like, does that make sense? Does that make sense? It doesn't. And it, it would it would be so obvious to people that are not even from the our faculty or like our um what do you call this discipline? Where I'm walking around when everything is pinned up, it would be so easy for them to say this deserves like 80%. This is so nice. And then the other white person that is pinned up. Uh, besides you, like, what the hell? What the hell is this? And then uh, the following day, they're just going to call us together and tell us that um, we need to start working smart, not hard. Work smart, not hard, they said. And when you do that, you're still going to get your amazing 50 to 60%. And that's the lucky you if you're not on your 30s to 40s. You are very lucky. And I'm not saying that this is going to happen to all black people, but most of them know. If you're in interior design, in any, okay, not any, and you know me because I've been in that school, please comment down below and um, tell me your experiences if I don't know them already because it's real, guys. Racism is real and we are not supposed to be shy about it. We should not shy away from it. We should start talking about it and letting these people know that we are here. Like, what must to can happen? We are here and we deserve to be treated like normal people, like human beings, which we are. Okay, number five. You're expected to always be in every, each and every class because like the classes are very small in design school usually. So you're expected to be in each and every class. But you're actually going to get five, let's say it's a three hour class, it's a design class or construction class. You are basically going to get five minutes of the lecturer's time while the white people, the white kids, get 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes with their crit, mental crits, like they're getting crits, they're getting help, they're getting advice from these professionals, from these lecturers, 
and you're actually just gonna get five minutes and that's if you're lucky or you're gonna get two minutes with them like oh okay continue to do so like okay this looks okay this looks fine um change up this change up the window change up this and that's it and you would do that thinking you're going to get your like 75 percent but honey if you take that advice you are still going to get your 50 percent literally you're still gonna get your 50 percent and it's so sad um to a point where i personally did not um want them to create my work they would actually i'll just want them to mark my work when i'm done because i don't want them to tell me to do something and i actually try my level best to do it and then um i still get the mark that i got the last project like your standard mark i feel like your first mark in january or february when the mark of your first submission is going to be the mark that you stay with for the rest of the year if you get a 50 you're gonna be stuck with in the 50s if you get a 60 then you might even go lower because higher is not where you're going and i'm not lying guys this is real and it's happening well in design school so those are the struggles that i've encountered with being a black interior design student i'm very proud that i'm black and i know i'm good in interior design check out my instagram page i've started like a company it's called is interiors and yeah please follow it i'll put the handle down below it's at is interiors on instagram and twitter so please follow that um and oh also i have the last point is that when you're in interior design and you're black you need to work five times harder than the average kid you need to work five times harder we used to sleep at school we used to spend 48 hours more than 48 hours at school without showering without bathing obviously we gotta eat so we would make a plan but we'd still receive the marks that we do we would help each other if someone knows how to do this and i don't and i know how to do the next thing we would help each other we'd work together to make sure that we get the best marks possible but we would not get to where the white kids were and uh, I thank God that I made it and uh, I was supposed to graduate earlier this year but well you know Corona came with the Rona now we're not rona -ing. <laughs> yeah so yeah guys uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos turn on the post notification bell and um, stay tuned for more content like this um thank you for 400 subscribers yet again i hope we're at five we'll be at 500 subscribers by the time i upload this video and yeah